God bless you out there, YouTube land, North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. Praise your holy name, Jesus. I pray all the people of the United States of America had a blessed Thanksgiving Day uh, yesterday. And uh, new prophecy from the throne room, new prophecy from the throne room. Prophecy on anti-Christ Obama's damnation land. A 21st century civil war. God give me some new manner from heaven from the throne room. Here it is. New manner from heaven. Straight from the throne room. For the glory be to God. And uh, first thing that God showed me. I've seen this old black uh, train, civil war train to run by coal. Like in Abraham Lincoln's day. And it was going down the track. And what that means in the next four years. The prophecy on Antichrist, Obama's domination land, a 21st century civil war that's going to be death and destruction in the United States of America here. And what we're seeing now, some of the states want to see from the Union. And God laid this on my heart here on uh, November the 17th, 2012, in 17 minutes. I have been prophesying about the 21st century civil war that President Obama will start in the last four years. President Obama has divided USA straight down the middle in a spiritual, medical, and financial red and blue states. A 21st century civil war. President Obama is destroying the union because the red, white, black, and yellow men will have the chains of slavery in a new world order. President Obama has destroyed the USA sovereignty for Obamacare, the new age of socialism. President uh, Obama's nation at desolation is abomination at desolation to the God of Israel. The new Abraham Lincoln film coming out is the handwriting on the wall. President Lincoln saved the Union and set the black man free in the USA. The White House has become the Black House. Not because of the race card issue, but the black house is for the spiritual darkness in the land because Christians are welcome, but Muslims are. The next four years in the USA, the apocalypse sufferings will be greater than the civil war. In the valley, the shadow of death, of death land, a house divided cannot stand. Jesus' truth is still marching on in this 21st century civil war in the USA. Here it is, straight from the throne room. God's holy, man is holy word from the throne room of God from the heaven for the glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus, for this prophetic word, this prophecy on anti-Christ Obama's damnation land at 21st century civil war. Here it is. And I have something... In God's holy word in the Bible to line up here in <clears throat> Lamentations. And this happened in 586 B.C. when uh, King Nebuchadnezzar destroyed Solomon's temple, destroyed Jerusalem. And this prophetic word happened a long time ago. But in the next four years, on the prophecy on Antichrist Obama's damnation land, a 21st century civil war, this was going to happen in the United States of America. And Limitations, uh, chapter 1, verses 16 through 22. This is from the weeping prophet Jeremiah. He prophesied this. This happened in Jerusalem, Israel. But this is going to be the word of the Lord for the next four years in the United States of America. One thing about history, we know history repeats itself. For these things I weep, mine eyes, mine eyes runneth down with water. Because the comforter that should relieve my soul was far from me. My children are desolate because the enemy prevaileth. Zion spreadeth forth for her hands, and there is none to comfort her. The Lord hath commanded concerning Jacob that his adversaries should be round about him. Jerusalem is as a ministerious woman among them. The Lord his righteous, for I have rebelled against his commandments. Here I pray you, all 
people and behold my sorrow, my virgins and my young men are gone into captivity. I call for my lovers, but they deceive me. My priest and mine elders gave up the ghost in a city while they sought their meat to relieve their souls. Behold, O oh Lord, for I am in this distress. My bowels are troubled. Mine heart is turned within me. For I have grievously rebelled above the sword bereaveth. At home there is as death. <clears throat> they have heard that I sigh. There is none to comfort me. All mine enemies have heard of my trouble. They are glad that thou hast done it. Thou wilt bring the day that thou hast called, and they shall be like unto me. Let all their wickedness come before thee and do it unto them, as thou hast done unto me. For all my transgressions, for my sighs are many, and my heart is faint. That's God's holy word, his holy Bible. May God bless, anoint, consecrate, sanctify his holy word, for the glory be to God in Jesus' name's sake. This is a terrible time coming. You know, today's Black uh, Friday. The shoppers you ask, they go crazy. They run you over carts and over saving some money in the stores. Lord, have mercy on the soul. We pray for the people out there, millions here over the world. Uh, in, in the United States, thousands and, and millions are dying. They don't know Jesus Christ as a personal Savior. It's going to be a Black Christmas, 2012, in the United States of America. Over the world, it's going to be a terrible time. But this is your opportunity, this is your time to turn your life over to Jesus Christ. And your, let him be your personal Savior. This will be the greatest gift on uh, his birth coming up here, Christmas 2012. Turn your life over to Jesus Christ. This is your hour, this is your time. Time is not uh, much left. Time is no more. Time is uh, having a countdown. It's the midnight cry, the midnight hour. Uh, uh, it's striking midnight. There's not much time left. Turn your life over Jesus Christ before it's too late. I don't want my worst enemy in hell. Turn your life over Jesus Christ. This is your opportunity. People out there in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East, say this prayer with me. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. And this will be the greatest gift I could give you for Christmas time. Jesus Christ. He is priceless. You can't buy him. You can't earn him. For the glory be to God. Lord Jesus Christ, I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me for my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, I repent. I accept you as my personal Savior, Lord. The greatest gift of mankind that God give Jesus. He is Christ. So thank you for saving my soul. Thank you. I'm born again. My name's written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen, amen. You said that prayer. Jesus Christ, just come into your heart. Email. George and Betty Kelly on YouTube. Uh, write us. We have our address on our profile page. We want to rejoice with you, George and Betty Cully, Alicia Cully, here at least the Brother Ministry in Pinckneyville, Illinois. That is your greatest decision you ever make in your life. We love you. Most important, Jesus, we love you. Have a good day. Have a blessed, high, holy day coming up here for Christmas 2012. Maybe there will be a black Christmas 2012, but the people know Jesus Christ. It'd be a white Christmas 2012. Amen, amen. Give God all the praise and all the glory and honor. Amen.